What is up guys, it's Fat Leo, and I'm back with another UGBC battle, and uh, this time it's against Leo. We wanted, we agreed to do this battle right now, it's 3 a.m. my time, 2 a.m. Leo's, I don't really know why we're doing it at this hour, but uh, we are, and that's just how it's gonna be, and the team he brought is not cool, I didn't want to see this. Thankfully he doesn't have, um, hazard removal, and ice, oh, we didn't have Mega Gyarados. Damn, I really wanted to counter sleep it with Psycho with Focus Ash Thunderous. Now, I don't know what to lead with. I mean, he, he's probably leading Hitmonchan, that's what I think is happening. And it's Sylveon Switch and his, uh, this thing. I'm gonna lead Thunderous. I don't need it that much. As he actually leads this, now he one shots me if he lives this hit, so I'm going to calc Thunderous. I don't know what item I am, I believe I'm. Oh. Thunderous, Grass Knot, uh, he's probably gonna set rocks, but, <sighs> Rhyperior, so Rhyperior actually dies to Grass Knot, standard set to Grass Knot, um, do I just, ah, <laughs> whatever man, oh, he switches, <laughs> Alright, 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 so I know he doesn't want to take this, so I'm going to Volt Switch on him. I don't really have a switch into this, so I have to bring in Swampert prematurely, unfortunately. Um, so I can see that he isn't Rindo Berry, so I... I can also bring an Excadrill, because I don't need the... I don't necessarily need the HP on Excadrill. Um, so I'm Scarfed, all these like, mock punches really don't do anything to me. But... I guess I'm gonna swap her. Just click knockoff, and I'm an idiot, so I only have waterfall and earthquake. That's oh my god, that is so bad. I mean, he's got no earthquake switching, so I'm gonna click earthquake. I, I can't believe I seriously did that. I have two moves and no EVs on Swampert. Oh, okay. All right, so Swampert's a sack. That's really bad. It still does 43, oh my god. So he's dying now, so I don't know if he wants to go into Gengar, but you know, if he does, I'm thinking, well, no, he's gonna sack this thing, because going into Gengar is insane, because it's going into Gengar is foolish. His best switch is Kirim if he wants this thing to live, because uh, Kirim takes an, takes an EQ and a waterfall. And I think he might predict me to go for Waterfall. <sighs> yeah, he might predict me to go for Waterfall. I'm seriously a no EV. Uh, thankfully, I hit 336 speed, or attack, with a serious nature. Um, so Swampert is not fooling around, and I may actually get a kill with no EV Swampert. I wonder if Leo will be ups <laughs> I wonder if Leo will laugh at this. Well, I wonder if he'll feel like an idiot because he's going to potentially lose a mod to no EV Swampert. So if, Earth, Earth, if Earthquake did 43, then Waterfall should definitely kill. As it does, wow, I actually, I can't believe I actually get a kill here with Swampert. Swampert won. Um, he might think that I, I try to rain sweep him, sweep him here, so he may not kill me. He may try to do something insane, but I'm... I'm gonna try to kill him here. Yeah, he does click Shadow Ball. That's fine because <clears throat> there's he's got no switch into my Excadrill actually. Unless he brought something with an air balloon. Um, he could be Sash Gengar. I mean, which would suck, but Thunderous outspeeds Sash Gengar, so <sighs> I may have to risk Excadrill here. Though I do want Rocks up at some point, and I do want Glalie to get some spikes up at some point, but. But I'll go to my uh, Excadrill right now, and I think I'm thinking Earthquake. Because if he... yeah, yeah, I, I definitely think... Uh, does he have Air Balloon? No. I think he's got a sack here. I'm gonna go for uh, this, this. I'm gonna write down his kills too. Gengar, one kill, and he does switch. Is he Air Balloon? He's not. So I know now he's going for Mock Punch. Um, my mock punch switch into Sylveon, who's supposed to be like Kirim switching, but if Kirim plays late game, that's not a problem. Now I don't care if he goes for a um I 
feel like I definitely want a scout. I'm gonna protect that actually. No. That's a little obvious. I don't think he has either the poison or so. Okay, so if he has poison jab actually, then that does a hell of a lot of damage to me. So I'm gonna go into Thunderous because if he has poison jab, then Did he just predict this? Alright, I have to switch back out. He's got no reason really not to mock punch, so I have to switch back into Sylveon right now because I can't lose Thunderous yet because Thunderous beats Rhyperior and Gengar. I mean, paralyzes Guard of War, paralyzes Kyrim, so that I, I don't know if he predicted me here, but again, Thunderous gets crit. Uh, so, this, this is just. This is, Thunders is not, not a very lucky mod. Got all the momentum here. These leftovers are really clutch for him. So I don't know what he's going to do here. I, I'm physically defensive Sylveon, so I may live a poison jab anyway. And he doubles in a Gardevoir, which is fine. Uh, I place the baton pass because it'll be a slow baton pass. <coughs> I don't know why he doubled. I don't know what he expected me to do. This goes in again on my baton pass. So I go into Excadrill again and click Earthquake. He wants to gamble on the Focus Blast, that's fine. Yeah, have Earthquake is my play. I mean, it might do the character. It's going be really fast. That's why it might not, but... Wait, did I seriously just run in Jolly Scarf to Excadrill? Oh my god, I ran Jolly Excadrill to outspeed something. I think to outspeed... Gyarados, so it's been Jolly Gyarados, but he does go to Kyurem. Okay, and I only do 42, so let me calc that Kyurem spread. Kyurem. Kyurem B. If I am an Excadrill, Choice Scarf Excadrill, Jolly Scarf Excadrill, an Earthquake, yeah, that's about a normal roll on no HP, so my assumption is that he's like a modest with Earth Power. Uh, let's see, Earth Power, which actually doesn't kill me, so I'm gonna go for another EQ, as he isn't scarfed, Ice Beam, he predicted, he predicted something to come in, unless he just doesn't have Earth Power, but, uh, yeah, Earth Power wasn't gonna kill me, so I, so yeah, that was my play, Excadrill, one kill, now, I mean, he might go for Mock Punch again, I don't want to have to continuously bring in Sylveon, but Glalie's also looking a little less useful here. Although, I think, although I, I might be able to take a hit from the, uh, from the, 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 the Gengar, actually. Gengar, let's say Life Orb Attacker. Glalie. Max HP and Max Spadef with Calm. Oh, what's my nature? I think I'm modest, right? I actually think I'm modest, Glalie. Uh, I'm calm. Oh, okay, that's, that's perfect. Calm, Glalie. I do live Focus Blast. And Freeze Dry does 30 to 36%, which puts him in range, I think, of a Thunderous. I actually have limited ways to beat Glalie now, outside of paralyzing him and then destroying him with Terrakion. Uh, so I can't lose x control. Maybe able to lose Terrakia. Oh, not Terrakia, I'm done with. But what do I need Sylveon for, honestly? But what do I need Sylveon for? He might be doubling here, or he might be clicking Poison Jab if he has it. So I don't know that he has Poison Jab. He does Poison Jab to kill. Hitmon, me. Are you reckless? Sylveon. I probably don't need to make this calc. Um. If he's got poison jab uh, and he isn't life orb, and he isn't life orb, it doesn't actually kill me. So I think I can wish here. As he goes straight into Gengar, I'm gonna protect. Yeah, that's my play. I'm gonna protect. I guess he does. So it looks like he doesn't have the poison jab. Uh, Alright, yeah, I'm protecting. And he goes straight for Shadow Ball. Now, how much does a Gengar Life Orb Attacker with Sludge Wave do? He, if he's timid, Life Orb actually doesn't kill me, so I'm going to set up a Wish. 
And he does 33 and gets us by death drop. So I know that he isn't low purple. I think he's either Sash or something else. So I'm gonna go into Glalie now. The Shadow Ball shouldn't be too appealing, especially defensive Glalie. So I'm gonna get two hits in on him. Perfect. Got the spin death drop, which is annoying, but I can I can go for freeze. Actually, I only need spikes, so I'm gonna go for spikes. Um, unfortunately, Shadow Ball is going to be a two-hit KO. Wow, that's actually crazy. And he goes into Jackie Chan, which I don't know if I mind, because if he's Hitmon Chan and you rapid spin with actually leftovers, a mock punch to Glalie. Glalie, 252, 252, calm, a mock punch actually might not kill, depending on the spread, it might not, or it might not even 2 hit KO, meanwhile a freeze dry does, it could 2 hit KO him, so my play is definitely to freeze dry I think, or is it to set another layer of spikes, I hit, Card of War, which I don't really need because Terrakion beats with a Stone Edge. So I'm gonna click Freeze Drop because this Hitmon Chan is a little annoying as he's uh as this only does 20% to him. So he's some kind of how much the dragon's been through? Seven. How much is it supposed to do? About that. So he's max HP, so I guess he's got less speed. Maybe he's max HP. That seems about right. I'm gonna click freeze dry again. Let's do this with brain punch, and I made a really stupid mistake here. I'm gonna go into Sylveon. I don't know if I want to predict Gengar. I think I'm gonna wish. I oh that was really that was really bad. That was really bad. So Terrakion's still my win condition here. Um Oh god, no, I don't have a Gengar session, that was really badly played. Goes into this big show to set rocks is my assumption, or he could be trying to kill me. So the thing is, I can take any one hit, and if I come in on, if I come in on Hitmonchan for free, oh, I the top pass, so I outspeed. Uh, all right, so I'm losing thunderous here if he attacks me. Yeah, he does. Okay, all right, that's that is not good, but. I can go into my Terrakion, so let's give Rhyperior one kill. I'm so stupid, why would I he Dream Punch me? Oh god. So I, I do get a kill every time I come in for free on the, on the Gengar, but this stupid guy can revenge me. Now if I set up... No. Um... Okay. Alright, I'm not sure what I need to do here. I think Earthquake with Excadrill is the fine is a fine play. Alright, fine. I'm gonna Earthquake with Excadrill. Actually there's not really any reason not to iron head. Um I think I'm gonna but earthquake, earthquake actually beats it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna earthquake. There's no reason not to earthquake. 55. As the earthquake swing kills me. Now, a close combat is going to kill. But Sylveon, I don't think, can solo the rest of his team. Unless, I think. Okay. If he goes into Gengar. On the close combat, doesn't he just win? How does Sylveon solo his team? If he locks himself into a poison move, he doesn't kill Terrakion. If he is, so... Okay. Um... My play's into Terrakion, and I don't know if I want to close combat. I don't think so, because... Or, I, yeah, I think so, because I think he's going to sack Rhyperion. Oh my god, he's going to guard him over. That's weird. Unless this... It's not Scarf, I know that. This doesn't matter to me because I click Stone Edge and kill it. I think. Unless I don't. If I don't kill this Gardevoir, then 
guys. I get a crit. Ooh. Ooh, I crit man. Alright. Let's talk Guard of War. To Terrakia. Uh, not Scarf, I'm Focus Sash. He is... Terrakion, one kill. A close combat. So with Stone Edge up, the crit did not matter. So I need to hit another Stone Edge. Let's click Shadow Ball. As I click Stone Edge and connect and crit him. Did that matter? Gengar. Uh, Life Orb Attacker. Oh, uh, it was a roll. <laughs> the one on guard didn't matter. So the uh, the stone on Gengar was a um, a sixty-eight percent chance that I killed him. So now he's gonna go for mock punch. I think if I let this okay, I need to cut right here. Rhyperior and Sylveon to see if I can possibly beat the right period. So I'm bold Sylveon, I think. Earthquake, rock blast on three hits, four hits. So we need five hits on rock blast to two hit kill me and even then it's not guaranteed. Yeah, my bold Sylveon. Uh, a calm Sylveon? Um... Oh my god, I thought I would made my Sylveon physically defensive. Oh god, I'm calm Sylveon. I have to risk this then. I have to. So it's for Mach Punch. I have to hope it doesn't have the Poison Jab. That's the only way I win here. And he switches, which is, I mean, that's his only play, and Protect is my only play. <sighs> he does EQ. So if I now... Alright, if I'm especially defensive. His EQ does 58 to 68. If I... Okay. Nah, and then in this case, Terrakion... I'm life orb attacker without the life orb. I do 54 to 63, so I can't even kill him. So I need Sylveon. I need a but. Oh god. I'm gonna wish. I just want to get a set a little bit. Take that hit with the Babiri Berry. Uh, and I lose. Yeah, I lose. Um, I didn't really have much of a choice. God, not bringing physically defensive Sylveon actually. What? I can't believe I wasn't physically defensive. I thought I changed it. Alright, well, I I guess in that case I am. Um, I have to hide the loose. 54. It's not gonna matter. Wait, what? Hold on. I don't lose yet. I don't lose yet. What I need to do is just hope that this friggin' Jackie Chan can't kill me with anything. So I'm gonna click Hyper Voice. Sylveon <laughs> gets a kill. Sylveon, one kill. What is going on? How did his Iron Head do so much? Oh, because it was a crit! Oh my god, I... Well, my play is absolutely the wish, right? I guess it doesn't matter. My play's the... Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, my play's the wish, and I have to hope that he can't kill me with one hit somehow. It looks like he did... Oh, wait, I saw his whole moveset. Oh, Drain Punch kills me. What? Hitmonchan, and you Rapid Spin? Leon Dream Bunch kills. Oh wow. That's insane. Dream Bunch actually kills. Um, and I'm just gonna click Coast Combat. <laughs> Good game wheel. 
Oh, this is such a disaster. And I lost Leo. This was a disaster. I had no EVs on Swamp Bird and only two moves. And uh, Sylveon was supposed to be his death, but was sped up for some reason. So yeah, that was um that was funny. Hit Monchan has the two kills. Yeah, I prepped in about twenty minutes. <laughs> Alright, um I wonder where I am in the standings in the EGC. Maybe I should take it more seriously. Alright, <laughs> no, that was cool, that was cool, that was uh, an interesting battle, so thanks for watching guys, and um, I think at this point I've lost like five of, like six of my last nine games, so another one of those streaks that I like to go on, I like to go on winning streaks and losing streaks, so uh, that was cool, <laughs> that was a hilarious battle, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time, Fat Leo, out.